what could be better than reading a story about two lovable, hairy characters named Orson and Taco than reading a whole series about them? That's the case of Orson and Taco, two dogs who are as different as night and day. It's a series written at different ability levels that grow with your child. Orson is a big, shaggy, timid dog whose best friend is Taco, a tiny, feisty boy who provides a perfect balance to his friend. Children are immediately drawn to these two characters because of their looks, so completely opposite, and their names. They find Orson to be an odd name for a dog, and Taco, well, who ever heard of a dog named Taco? The series begins with a big book, and it's meant to be read aloud to the children but they quickly recognize the repetitive pattern of the text and they want to read it themselves. In each book, a new adventure is introduced and it revolves around something that the children can relate to. For example, um, in the book, The Good Dog, Orson tries his hardest to be good, but no matter what he does, things don't turn out quite the way they should. Um, looking for Taco. Taco wanders off and the dog gets lost. A visit from Sweetie another dog comes to play and she's very naughty. They can hardly wait for a new book and they're always willing to talk about what they've read previously. These two hairy characters have lots of lessons that they teach um, to the children starting with the obvious that you can still be friends with someone even though you're very different. <coughs> books, these books not only encourage children to read but they also help them to realize that the characters in the books, whether they're real or fictional, um, are like friends. They're someone that they can turn to and connect with even when they're home alone. There are several books in this series written at, um, for all levels. And there are also other great series books that can be um, used with children very young, um, right up through the grades. Some of my favorites are for the young kids, Froggy and Friends, Megan Hugs, and for the older kids, the Poppy series, the Narnia series, Henry and Mudge. So I would encourage finding a series of books, something that your, your kids can connect to and make friends with the characters in the book. All right, so today we're gonna talk a little bit more about Orson and Taco. We met Orson and Taco way back when you were in kindergarten and we read the big book about Orson and Taco and friends. Um, Tell me something you know about Orson. Mm -hmm. Lily? Um, in the big storm, he was afraid. He was afraid, okay. Do you remember what he was afraid of? One thing that Orson's afraid of? Um, the lightning. He was afraid of lightning, okay. Can you tell me something about Taco, Chloe? Um, he is brave. Okay, so Taco is brave. Is Orson oh, brave to Rome? Do you think Orson's brave too? What do you think? There's not a right or wrong answer. Do you think Orson's brave too? Yes. Okay. He can be brave. Do you think Orson's brave too, Chloe? No. Why don't you think Orson's brave? Because we, remember when we read this book, he was hiding. And that means he's scared. Okay. Uh, do, do Orson and Taco look like brothers? No. No. Well, how are they different, Lily? Um, Taco is small and Orson is big. Taco is small and Orson is big. But they're they're best friends. Yeah. Okay. Even though one is very big and one is very small. Um, we've read about a lot of their adventures. And I put some of the books out on the table. Can you pick a book and tell me something that you remember about. All right, Chloe, I know you're ready. Okay, what do you want to tell us about that book? Um, so this book, he's really messy. Okay, that's called The Good Dog, but would you think a good dog is really messy? Mm -mm. Was he trying to be good? Yeah. But can you tell us a problem? What was, what was his problem? Um, his problem was... You can look through. What was the problem he had whenever he was trying to be good and Jack would tell him to do something? Can you pick a page and read it? Jack said it, said Austin. Austin was a good dog. He's 
sat. What happened when he sat, though? Well, he break the plant. Yeah, he sat like he was told to, but he sat right in the middle of a plant. So sometimes even when you're trying to be good, does it always work out? No. No. Thank you for sharing that, Chloe. What, what's your favorite, or is, uh, Roan? Okay, is that about mostly about Orson or mostly about Taco? Taco. Okay, tell us about that. What makes Taco brave in that story? Um, when the big was thinking of um, Taco was barking at it. Okay, what was Taco barking at? Can you find a page here and show us what Taco was barking at? What is that big red thing? A vacuum. Okay. Taco was barking at it. Was Orson barking at it? No. <coughs> what was Orson doing? He was just standing behind Taco. So do you think Orson liked the vacuum? No. No. How do you think Orson felt? Scared. He was scared. Can you pick a page to read us out of that book? I'm going to read this page. Okay. Taco barked. He barked and barked at the big red thing, but the noise didn't stop. The noise didn't stop. So Taco thought that he was going to make that big red thing stop making the noise. Do you think Taco was trying to help Orson? Mm -hmm. So do you think he was being a good friend? Yeah, I think so too, but it wasn't working. Um, Lily, tell us about the book that you picked. Um, it's, the title is Woof, and I picked this book because he always barks at some other animals. Who is barking? Taco. So, read us a page from that book. Taco sees a bird. Woof. Read us one more. Woof. Taco sees a cat. Woof. You know what I noticed? In the stories that you picked, you picked a book about Taco, and you picked a book about Taco. And what was tar Taco doing in both of those stories? He was barking. He was barking. That's like his job. In your book, was Orson barking? No. No. So is that a way that they were different, too? Yeah. yeah. Do you think Orson barks as much as Taco? Probably not. So that was a good connection that you made. All right, let's put those books away because I'm going to read you a, st a new story today about Taco and Orson. And it is called A Trip Not to the Laundromat, A Trip to the Laundromat. <laughs> Do you know what a mutt is? No. Do you have any idea what a mutt is? No. It's a funny name for a dog. <laughs> It's a funny name for a dog. Who's going to the laundromat, do you think? Chloe? Orson. Orson, do you think Taco's there too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're both. All right. Why do you think they're there, Roan? Because they're both dirty. They're both dirty. Okay. It looks like maybe they got into some mischief. All right. A trip to the laundromat. And this is by Charlotte Wilson, illustrated by Meredith Johnson. And there are the two best friends. <clears throat> Jack looked at Taco. Taco needs a bath, said Jack. Why does Taco need a bath, Chloe? Because he was in the mud. He was in the mud. Mom looked at Orson. Orson really needs a bath, said Mom. Let's go to the laundromat. So the laundromat is not where you go to wash clothes, and it's not a car wash. The laundromat is a dog wash. It's mm -hmm. like a car wash, but it's a washing dog. It's a dog wash. It's a dog wash. <laughs> the laundromat had big tubs for the dogs. Taco did not like the look of those tubs. What is Taco doing? Um, Can you see? What is Taco doing, Chloe? Hiding. He is hiding. Is that different than what Taco usually does? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Usually Taco's the one that's trying to, to stick up for Orson. 
and Orson's not the brave one, but in this case, Taco didn't like the looks of those big tubs at all, so he was hiding. Let's wash Orson first, said Mom. She pushed and pulled and got Orson into the tub. Mm -hmm. Orson's big. Look at the look on Orson's face. Do you think he's happy about being uh, in that tub? Uh, no. No, but he's, he's finally in there, okay? Uh -huh. And look at what Taco's doing. He's just sitting there. Yeah. How do you think Taco's feeling right then? A little scared. Maybe a little scared. How else might he be feeling? Mm, sad. Maybe a little bit sad. I don't know. Maybe he's a little worried. Jack turned on the water. Soon Orson was wet, wet, wet. The big dog shook, and then Jack was wet too. Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Orson is in the tub. Mom and Jack gave Orson a bath. Is he staying in the tub? Mm. He is. He's being a good dog. Orson's not scared, but... Oh, next, Jack got the hair dryer. Fur blew here and there, and fur blew up and down. Soon, big Orson looked very good. Oh, I like the bow. <laughs> How do you think Orson feels now that he's all beautiful? Mm -hmm. How do you think he feels, happy. Chloe? Chloe? Happy. I think he's happy I too. Am. Okay. I'm excited. Then it was time to give Taco a bath. Mom put Taco in the tub. Jack turned on the water. Ta Taco really doesn't want to go in. <laughs> Taco really doesn't want to go in. <laughs> I wonder why Taco doesn't want to go in. I don't know. I think Taco. <gasps> Soon Taco was wet, wet, wet. Taco did not like that. The little dog jumped out of the tub. Oh. No, Taco, Taco, no. Taco ran around and around and the floor got wet. Taco shook and the walls got wet. <laughs> Taco. Taco does What do you think Taco's thinking here? Naughty. What do you think he's thinking? You think he's... He doesn't like baths. He does not like baths. Do you think he still looks afraid or do you think he looks mad? Mad. mad. He looks like mad, like they got me all wet. Jack and Mom got wet too. We got you, Taco, they said. Scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub. Taco hates it in the tub. <laughs> I like the one that you Mom and Jack gave Taco a bath. <laughs> then Jack got the hair dryer. Taco did not like that hair dryer at all. He barked and barked at it. But at last, little Taco looked very good too. <laughs> Taco's little hair up top? He looks like a unicorn. <laughs> he does. He's a, a genie. Then Mom looked at Jack. Jack looked at Mom. Look at us. They need bath. That's exactly what they, they said us. at the end. Why do you think they need a bath now, Chloe? Because there's mud on them. All right, they got their dogs nice and clean, but there's mud all over them. No, I kind of like Taco. Like the taco looks do like you think? Taco and Orson will still want to go play in the mud when they get home. Yeah, yeah I think so too. Yeah.